Hi, and a very good evening to all of you. Welcome back to our session of Daily Current Affairs. Uh, congratulations, first of all, for or to all those who have cleared their RBI Phase One exam. Okay, and of course, those who could not clear it should already start their preparation for next year instead of getting disheartened. So, we have already shared with you a well thought out and a thorough timetable for Phase Two exam in our Telegram channel. I'm also sharing a screenshot over here. If you haven't started your preparation yet, you can start off right away. You can start off right away from the exact given date that is today, 8th of June. And then whatever that is left, you can cover it in your backlog, but start and start with full discipline and sincerity. Okay. So, of course, you all would already download, if you're smart enough, you would have already downloaded our app that has all the study material and videos, everything made accessible to you. So goes without saying, it will help you in your preparation. So moving on to the very first question of the day, which state has stopped in the small state category of state food safety index? So World Food Safety Day abhi conduct karwaya gaya tha, that is in 2022. World Food Safety Day was first launched by the World Health Organization in the year 2018 on June 7th. So it is an annual event that is conducted every year on June 7th. Okay, and India is also obviously a participant and Food Safety and Standards Authority of India has taken up many measures to implement, um, you know, implement uh, eat right movement and uh, habits, uh, cultivate habits among people towards a healthy eating uh, culture, right? Healthy eating habits ko hamare culture mein cultivate karna and ensuring food safety, ensuring food safety right from the proce uh, process of cultivation, uh, packaging and consumption. Iske beech mein jitna bhi food, jo bhi food chain hota hai that, uh, you know, transforms of the output, the crop into packaged food. Ensuring safety, ensuring safety is the foremost a priority and keeping that in mind, World Food Safety Day is conducted annually. Is that the theme kya tha World Food Safety Day ka? Safer food, right? The theme for this year's World Food Safety Day was a safer food, better food, by WHO. Now, a lot of state level index, that is Eat Right Index and food state food safety index is also, uh, you know, launched by Food Safety and Standards Authority of India to inculcate competitiveness, uh, competitiveness among, st uh, among states towards food safety. All right. So, state food safety index May concert state has stopped in the small state category? That is the question. So let's have a look at the correct answer. Of course, the small states category may just state top kia hai, that is uh, the state of Goa. <laughs> okay, so we've already discussed the significance of this. We've already discussed the significance. Theme kya hai World Food Safety Day ga? Again, let's have a look. Safer food. Safer food, better health. Safer food, better health is the theme of World Food Safety Day on June 7. That is held every year in India. And Eat Right Challenge winners, kaun kaun se hai? Of course, a total of 75 winners. Eat Right Challenge again. Food Safety and Standards Authority of India conduct karwata hai, Eat Right Challenge and it aims to include, you know, things like registration, licensing, food products mein jo bhi packaging hoti hai, unka proper labeling, nutrient content, expiry date, all those issues are covered and certifications are also issued in, under uh, Eat Right Challenge. It was launched in the year 2020. Or its main objective kya hai Eat Right Challenge ka? You all already are aware about Eat Right India movement. Eat Right India movement is related to what? Eat Right India movement means you eat right food, healthy food. Basic aim kya hai? Sugar and oil content ko hamari diet se kam karna so that the future generation is, you know, 
in a better health serves as a better demographic dividend all right and also to reduce the frequency of lifestyle diseases that ails the people of our country especially the youth so eat right challenge 2020 mein hi fssai ne launch kiya tha and it covers the winner uh, covers total 188 districts this means 75 have been uh, you know 75 ha uh, districts have won the certificate of the eat right movement okay and of course repurpose uh, reuse of cooking oil ko bhi use karna these are some of the few highlights of eat right movement indore has been the first place has backed the first place in the challenge and of course four uh, cities from madhya pradesh they have been ranked in top 10 they have been ranked in top 10 and ujjain jabalpur and gwalior were also there so we can see we can see that madhya pradesh is ranking is you know taking some concrete measures to implement eat right india movement isi tarah isi tarah food state food safety index jisse related hamara mcq tha स्टेट फूड सेफ्टी इंडेक्स का भी ये फोर्थ एडिशन होगा फूड स्टेट सेफ्टी एंड स्टैंडर्ड अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया रिलीज द इंडेक्स बेस्ड ऑन फोर इंपॉर्टेंट फोर की पैरामीटर्स दैट इज ह्यूमन रिसोर्स एंड इंस्टीट्यूशनल डेटा कंप्लायंस फूड टेस्टिंग एंड सर्वेलेंस ऑफ कॉस्ट ट्रेनिंग एंड कैपेसिटी एंड कंज्यूमर एम्पावरमेंट तो लेट्स हैव अ लुक लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट टॉप स्टेट सो ऑफकोर्स रैंकिंग जितनी भी इंपॉर्टेंट नेशनल लेवल की रैंकिंग्स होती हैं हमारी कंट्री में स्पेशली कोऑपरेटिव एंड कॉम्पिटेटिव फेडरलिज्म को प्रमोट करने के लिए यूजुअली दीज रैंकिंग्स दे हैव डिवाइडेड द स्टेट्स इनटू स्मॉल स्टेट्स लार्ज स्टेट्स एंड यूनियन टेरिटरीज ऑफ कोर्स यू ऑल ऑलरेडी नो अबाउट एस्पिरेशनल डिस्ट्रिक्ट प्रोग्राम की भी रैंकिंग में जो कैटेगरीज होती हैं स्टेट्स की इट इज अकॉर्डिंग टू देर प्रेजेंट स्टेटस ओके सो लार्ज स्टेट कैटेगरी में फर्स्ट रैंक तमिलनाडु को मिला है जिसमें से सैलम सैलम डिस्ट्रिक्ट सैलम डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन तमिलनाडु हैज बैक द फर्स्ट पोजिशन डिस्ट्रिक्ट वाइज ओके सो दिस ऑफ कोर्स स्मॉल स्टेट में फर्स्ट रैंक गोवा को मिला है एज वी सो इट इन द एम सी क्यू एंड यूनियन टेरिटरी में फर्स्ट रैंक गोज टू जम्मू एंड कश्मीर सो यू कैन हैव अ प्रॉपर लुक एट द टेबल टू गेट एन आइडिया अबाउट on what basis you all already know about the parameters on the based on which the states are being ranked khadyanjali khadyanjali is a quarterly magazine it's a quarterly magazine that is uh, released by the rajbhasha division of food safety and standards authority of india so khadyanjali eat right creativity uh, challenge ka ek part hai eat right creativity challenge which aims to uh, you know it aims to pick on the innovative sites and especially students ka isme zyada involvement kiya jata hai at school level uh, initiatives like logo designs are taken up okay and uh, isi tarah khadyanjali bhi uh, iska ek creative division ka hi ek part hai aur ye logo bhi isi mein ye isi ke under ye launch hua hai that is Eat Right India Creativity Challenge, Creativity uh, Eat Right Creativity Challenge के Phase थ्री में आयुर्वेद आहार का ये logo launch हुआ है Here the logo includes A for Ayurved and another A for आहार including these five leaves. Five leaves they represent the five important symbols of life that sustains Earth. That's five important elements of nature. You all know what are those five elements. okay okay so moving on to the next question uh, eat right research award and grant eat right research award and grant is also uh, used to encourage uh, quality research in the field of food safety and uh, nutrition and health standards in india <clears throat> okay so the challenge was launched to encourage schools to create an environment of health and safe food to engage excite and enable the students to inculcate habits on food and nutrition of course again coming back to eat right india at the school level itself okay so moving on to the next question very uh, interesting question rather which 
which company has department of telecommunication partnered for exploring the feasibility of direct to mobile technology direct to mobile technology kya hai let's first discuss about that what is it let's build an insight so direct to mobile technology is nothing but without internet without the need of internet you are able to watch some uh, videos some news uh, videos about some news channels se kaise possible hai just like you are able to listen to fm radio on your phone without needing the internet just like that direct to mobile service uh, will try to uh, you know make available the same videos that you watch on youtube using the internet uh, directly from your phone without using any broadband service iska simple sa matlab ye hai ki agar aapke phone mein internet connection nahi bhi hai तो भी आप कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज चैनल से रिलेटेड वीडियोस आप देख सकते हो एंड इनिशिएटिव क्यों लिया गया है बिकॉज प्राइमरली बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल आर कंज्यूमिंग लॉट ऑफ वीडियो कंटेंट ऑन द इंटरनेट राइट एंड बिकॉज दे आर कंज्यूमिंग लॉट ऑफ वीडियो कंटेंट ऑन द इंटरनेट देर द ब्रॉडबैंड द स्पेक्ट्रम ट्रैफिक इज इंक्रीजिंग इन कंजेशन कंजेस्टेड टू अ लार्ज एक्सटेंट सॉरी या तो स्पेक्ट्रम ट्रैफिक दैट चैनल द वीडियो कंटेंट इट इज गेटिंग हाईली कंजेस्टेड ट्रैफिक मैनेज नहीं हो पा रहा है ब्रॉडबैंड में इनफिशियंसीज आ रही है राइट एंड सेकेंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव इसका ये है फेक न्यूज इससे काफी हद तक कर्ब हो सकती है हाउ बिकॉज द वीडियो कंटेंट दैट विल बी मेड अवेलेबल इन डायरेक्ट टू मोबाइल विल बी द कंटेंट दैट इज मेड अवेलेबल बाय द ऑफिशियल न्यूज अथॉरिटी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज प्रसार भारती ओके प्रसार भारती पहले बहुत पहले मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एनवायरमेंट एंड ब्रॉडकास्टिंग के अंदर आता था बट फ्रॉम नाइनटीन नाइनटी सेवन ऑन वर्ड्स प्रसार भारती हैज बीन ऑपरेटिंग एज एन इंडिपेंडेंट ऑटोनॉमस अथॉरिटी बट स्टिल but still uh, it is an important organization that dd news and news on air ye do important channels hai prasar bharti ke and of course jab inki news direct to mobile mein jayegi to fake news automatically curb ho jayegi okay so prasar bharti and department of telecom have come uh, under uh, an mou or a partnership and isse pehle last year bhi prasar bharti partnered with iit kanpur to check the feasibility of this technology okay so ye over the top services hai iske benefits kya honge basic basic benefits ye honge that there will be more efficient use of broadband and spectrum technologies that are available and of course we have already discussed the point on fake news so all these facts are there it is similar to fm U, uh, radio utilization of spectrum citizen centric information zyada acche se deliver ho payegi time pe deliver ho payegi so all these facts are there okay another side on a side note a very interesting fact about prasar bharti it is that uh, reuters institute of digital news report note it down Reuters Institute of Digital News Report का एक index आया था Digital News Report index आया था in the year 2021 ट्वेंटी वन दैट रिवील्ड दैट डी डी न्यूज एंड ऑल इंडिया रेडियो न्यूज इज द मोस्ट ट्रस्टेड न्यूज ब्रांड्स इन इंडिया दैट इज अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट अचीवमेंट यू शुड नो अबाउट How many tribal research institutes are operating in India? So, National Tribal Research Institutes are operated by the Ministry of Tribal Affairs that aim <coughs> that aim to promote all the goods, uh, you know, uh, the tribal culture, tribal economy को promote करने के लिए उसको you know अलग अलग institutes, universities and organizations के साथ collaborate करने के लिए ये ट्राइबल रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट बनाया गया है टू स्टडी द ट्राइबल सोसाइटी ट्राइबल कल्चर एज वेल एज द ट्राइबल इकोनॉमी ओके सो देर आर अ टोटल ऑफ ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्राइबल रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंडिया कॉर्स दे कम अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ ट्राइबल अफेयर्स 
and uh, union home minister uh, union minister of home and cooperation mr amit shah he inaugurated ntri ntri at iipa campus in new delhi it will monitor tribal research institute center of excellences and research scholars for of nfs okay and set up norms for improvement and quality of research and training so all these facts are there policy formulation mein bhi ntri contribute karta hai so ye ntri establish bhi kyun kiya gaya it is also established under azadi ka amrit mahotsav azadi ka amrit mahotsav we keep on reading from our day to day current affairs right so basically ye hai kya aur kab start hua tha iske bare mein ek chhota sa drawback you should know it was azadi ka amrit mahotsav first it commenced on uh, 12th of march 2021 Countdown 12th of March 2021 में ही स्टार्ट हो गया था 75 वीक्स टू 75th एनिवर्सरी ऑफ इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंस ओके कैटेगरीज क्या है पांच कैटेगरीज है इंपॉर्टेंट कैटेगरीज है आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव दैट इज आकाम के अंदर नंबर वन इज रिलेटेड टू योर फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल नंबर टू आइडिया एंड इनोवेशन आइडिया एट सेवेंटी achievement at 75 action at 75 and resolve at 75 okay so jitne bhi important initiatives aap log padhte ho hamare day to day current affairs mein especially these days that the government of india is launching uh, these are launched under in the under these five categories only that is freedom struggle ideas achievement action and resolve okay so moving on to the next question we've already covered this i guess so where was the conference of vice chancellors central university and directors of institute of national importance organized cause this conference was organized by our president president shri ramnath kovind ji organized this uh, important conference of all the vice chancellors of central university okay so basically institutes of national importance you all know what are the institutes of national importance they are autonomous institutes these are autonomous institutes that give out uh, you know degree they issue degrees diplomas they have the power to hold examinations under their name and more importantly these institutes of uh, national importance they also receive central funding even though they are autonomous institutes so name some institutes of national importance in the comments below so ye conference organize kiya gaya hai new delhi mein okay another important issue which state has launched beach vigil app beach vigil app kaun se state ne launch kiya it was launched by the state of goa it was launched by the state of goa the beach vigil app goa chief minister mr pramod sawant launched it for holistic management of beaches sustainable tourism of beaches you all know blue certificate is issued to uh beaches in india that ensure sustainable tourism exemplary services to the tourist and also ensuring environmental sustainability <clears throat> okay so certificates distribute kiye jata hai startups ko they are dispersed under incentives under the startup scheme all right so this is what it is uh, related to nothing much to discuss about it of course you all know uh, you all must already be aware about the environmental protection act and especially coastal regulation zones ke bare mein aap sab ko already pata hoga we have already discussed it in one of our previous video so coastal regulations uh, coastal regulation zones uh, basically environment protection act ke andar ke provision se hi ek aur enactment aaya tha regarding the coastal regulation zone that uh, regulate the infrastructure activity along the coasts of india and especially the beach area depending on the low tide the difference between low tide and high tide uh, lengths so all these factors are there 
of course of course the government alone cannot undertake all the measures related to sustainable tourism and especially coastal protection uh, this this is although this is a government initiative but also many civil society organizations many international organizations are taking up initiatives you know to regulate uh, sustainable tourism in the beaches of our country <clears throat> Which tribe in Assam celebrates the Baikho festival? Baikho festival Assam mein kaun si tribe celebrate karti hai? The correct answer here is Rabhas. Rabhas is a Tibetan Burmese tribal uh, community in the state of Assam. Okay, so it celebrates the Baikho festival uh, to celebrate. Basically, uh, the uh, the objective behind Baikho festival celebration is to celebrate the harvest season. Okay, so काफी इंपॉर्टेंट है काफी पॉपुलर सेलिब्रेशन है ये आसाम में लॉट ऑफ रिचुअल्स आर कैरिड ऑन पीपल वेयर यू नो देयर ट्रेडिशनल ड्रेसेस दे कुक ट्रेडिशनल फूड्स यू ऑल ऑलरेडी नो अबाउट सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट फेस्टिवल्स डांसेस एंड म्यूजिक्स रिलेटेड टू द स्टेट ऑफ आसाम स्पेशली द बिहू डांस फेस्टिवल एंड ऑफ कोर्स देयर आर अ लॉट ऑफ अदर ट्राइब्स आल्सो दैट सेलिब्रेट द हार्वेस्ट सीजन इन देयर ओन वे One of such tribe is Rabha tribe, which is Tibeto Burman community, hai, settled in West Bengal's Dwar region, that celebrates the Baikho festival for good harvest season. Okay, important question related to Bimstek celebration and its foundation date. So you all know Bimstek cup. Uh, कॉन्स्टिट्यूट हुआ था या फिर कब फॉर्म में आया था दिमस्टेक वॉज फर्स्ट इनिशिएटेड थ्रू बैंक ऑफ डिक्लेरेशन इन दर नाइनटीन नाइनटी सेवन थाईलैंड में बैंक ऑफ डिक्लेरेशन साइन हुआ था जिसमें चार कंट्रीज टूगेदर आई थी दैट इज बांग्लादेश इंडिया श्रीलंका एंड थाईलैंड दे टूगेदर फॉर्म बी आई एस टी ई सी दैट इज बी आई एस टी बी आई एस टी इकोनॉमिक कॉरिडोर इनिशियली स्टार्ट ऑफ विद दिस later on later on nepal and myanmar also joined the organization and since then it is known as bimstek seven members hain seven members hai bahut hi easy way out hai for you guys to remember the members of bimstek which is now known as bay of bengal it is now known as bay of bengal initiative for multi sectoral technical and economic cooperation quite a long uh, uh, abbreviation but still bay bay of bengal bay of bengal initiative for multi sectoral technical and economic cooperation <laughs> ms would be multi sectoral technical and economic cooperation seven members are seven bimstek has seven member countries Five of them are from South Asian region, and two of them are from Southeast Asia. That is BBIN. So, आप याद रख लो. Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Nepal, and the fifth South Asian country of uh, Bimstek will be Sri Lanka. That is BBINS. BBINS plus two Southeast Asian countries. That is MNT, Myanmar, and Thailand. Myanmar. and nepal and bhutan they they joined the uh, the organization later on and some of the important some of the important initiatives taken up by bimstek organization jo ki india and southeast asia mein connectivity ko promote karte hain under act east policy ke under ye bahut hi important projects hain three important projects you all should know about is kaladan multi Kaladan multimodal project. It's a multimodal transport project between India and Myanmar via Kaladan River, which is in Myanmar. Me, me, hai, okay. And uh, also Asian Trilateral Highway. Asian Trilateral Highways, India and Thailand. IMT Highway is called. It is called. India, Myanmar, and Thailand. It is an important highway. Hai. for uh, connectivity between the three countries and of course southeast asian uh, nations consequently and bbin motor vehicles agreement bangladesh bhutan india and nepal motor vehicles agreement iska present status kya hai is bhutan still a member of bbin 
डू फाइंड इट आउट ओके सो ये ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ फाउंडेशन डे है बीबीआईएनएस का या फिर सॉरी बिम्स्टेक का दैट वाज सेलिब्रेटेड इन ढाका इट वाज फाउंडेड ओरिजिनली फाउंडेड ऑफ जून सिक्स एंड द प्रेजेंट सेक्रेटरी जनरल इज टेंजन लेखपाल ऑफकोर्स इसके हेड क्वार्टर्स भी ढाका में ही है दैट इज इन बांग्लादेश ट्रीटी साइन हुई थी बैंकॉक डिक्लेरेशन में हेड क्वार्टर्स इसके ढाका में सो दैट इज ऑफकोर्स सम इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट टू रिमेंबर Fifth Bimstek summit is scheduled to take place in Colombo, Sri Lanka. <clears throat> What is India's rank in Environment Performance Index? Environment Performance Index me India ka rank kitna hai? So Environment Performance Index basically is released by Earth Institute of Yale and Columbia University. बहुत ही data driven index है ये. एंड वन एटी कंट्रीज को ये क्लाइमेट चेंज परफॉर्मेंस एनवायरमेंट हेल्थ एंड इको सिस्टम वाइटैलिटी जैसे पैरामीटर्स में ये मेजर करता है एंड क्वेश्चन लास्ट न्यू इंडिया का रैंक क्या है सो लेट्स हैव अ गुड लुक एट इट वट इज इंडिया रैंक डेनमार्क का स्कोर वॉज सेवेंटी इंडिया रैंक वन Out of 188 countries that it usually assesses, 180 रहा है इंडिया का रैंक ऑन पैरामीटर्स लाइक इकोसिस्टम वाइटैलिटी हेल्थ एनवायरमेंटल हेल्थ दैट इज एंड क्लाइमेट पॉलिसी तो यू कैन रीड सम डिटेल्स अबाउट द अबाउट एनवायरमेंट परफॉर्मेंस इंडेक्स 2022 ट्वेंटी दैट इज रिलीज बाय अर्थ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ येल एंड कोलम्बिया यूनिवर्सिटी द टॉप मोस्ट कंट्री इज डेनमार्क पैरामीटर्स में देर आर फोर्टी ब्रॉड इंडिकेटर्स अंडर थ्री ब्रॉड कैटेगरीज फोर्टी इंटीग्रेट इंटीग्रेटर्स अंडर थ्री ब्रॉड कैटेगरीज विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इको सिस्टम वाइटैलिटी एनवायरमेंट हेल्थ एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज मिटिगेशन पॉलिसी मेजर्स तो ये सारे फैक्ट्स या फिगर्स आपको याद रखने की जरूरत नहीं है बट जस्ट टू गिव यू अ ब्रॉड रेफरेंस ये ईपीआई इट फॉलोज इट ऑफर्स अ पावरफुल पॉलिसी टूल सपोर्ट यू नो फॉर यूनाइटेड नेशन सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल इंप्लीमेंटेशन एंड टू मूव द सोसाइटी टुवर्ड्स अ मोर सस्टेनेबल फ्यूचर तो दिस इज द स्कोर ऑफ सम अदर कंट्रीज साउथ एशियन कंट्रीज का परफॉर्मेंस इसमें कैसा रहा है a little important for us to know uh, you know for a fair comparison brics nation ke sath comparison mein bhi india sabse last mein aaya hai against south asian countries mein bhi india sabse last mein aaya hai so that is quite debatable quite debatable aise organization mein uh, matlab aise organization reports ki mein agar india ka rank sabse niche aa raha hai so that is not a very good picture for our country across the globe even though even though we take some proactive measures towards climate change we have a proper national action plan on climate change in place uh, niti aayog uh, is continuously uh, making efforts to implement sustainable development goals so it is also important to know a little background about these organizations know a little more about the research methodology on the basis of which the organization is assigning such ranks to india okay so another important question uh, is a partnership it's a question on partnership on education digital learning program ko support karne ke liye kaun se organization ne khan academy ke sath uh, partnership kiya hai which has launched up school so up school will be made available in three languages that is english hindi and kannada and uh, you know uh, aims to promote learning skills and especially mathematical skills among school going children लर्निंग गैप्स को यू नो रिड्यूस करना टू ब्रिज द लर्निंग गैप्स बिटवीन चिल्ड्रेन एनरोल्ड इन प्राइवेट स्कूल एंड देन गवर्नमेंट एडेड स्कूल ये सारे इंपॉर्टेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव हैं इसके एस बी आई फाउंडेशन विच इज अ सी एस आर ब्रांच ऑफ द एस बी आई हैज लॉन्च द डिजिटल लर्निंग प्रोग्राम फ्रॉम क्लासेज वन टू टेन इन पार्टनरशिप विद खान अकेडमी विच इज एन एजुकेशनल नॉन प्रॉफिट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंडिया it will be made available in english hindi and kannada we have already discussed that to build to reduce the learning gaps and build a solid foundation
Maruti Suzuki India has set up a 20 megawatt solar power plant, which is Asia's largest car port type solar power plant. And where is this plant located? This plant is located in Manasar in Haryana, and it is not the first initiative of Maruti Suzuki. It has been investing years down the line now. It has been investing in car port solar power plant. In the bar, this time, this time it has uh, set up Asia's largest car port. The car port solar power plant, kya hota hai basically, it is nothing but a solar power plant over an area, over an area that provides car parking facilities. Just the rooftop solar power plant hota hai, isi tarah car port solar power plant hota hai. You can see it in the image, you know, to give you much more clarity and it is going to be the Asia's largest. It will uh, produce an equivalent energy of more than 67,000 units. The power plant will contribute 28,000 MWH2 annually to the group's manufacturing unit. So all these figures you don't need to know. Just uh, important to know that it will actually, it aims to absorb 20,000 tons of carbon dioxide emissions annually that's what the report says that what the company website says so it is quite important so thank you so much for watching today's uh, video for daily current affairs i hope this session was useful and insightful to all of you see you in the next class take care and bye bye